everybody thank you for pressing play on today's video my name is Charlene Luciano and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up oh my goodness you guys I have the most awesome little project to share with you guys today and when I was putting it together I had the whole project done and I put this the wrong way and ripped my box so this is going to be a little pencil if you can envision it from my boo-boo but this is going to be a little pencil and this is such a cute little gift to give to your teacher I know kids are going have gone back to school and this is just a fun way to give this to your teacher with some candy inside just to say hi I'm so and so and I'm so glad to be in your class but bear with me I'm going to go through this real quick all the information will be over on my website at www.stampwithshard.com. So if you missed anything, you guys, everything will be over there. But at the end, we will have a cute little pencil, I promise. Okay, so the pencil box, the pencil itself, I'm using So Saffron. And I just took a piece of five and a half by eight and a half, so just a half a piece of cardstock. I then ran it through the pockets pocket framelit dies now this is a bundle in the catalog so if you purchase it as a bundle you do save 10 percent which is always nice we love to save 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 i have a piece of one and a half by seven and a half and we are going to do some scoring on that piece I have a piece of silver foil and this is cut at a half an inch by two and a half inch. I have a piece of crumb cake and this is cut at two by two and a half inch. Just some scrap black for the tip of the pencil. And then I have flirty flamingo and this is cut at one and a half by two and a half and this is for the eraser. So I have my envelope punch board and I'm actually going to round off two of the corners with the envelope punch board. So I'm just going to quickly do that. So to save some time, I went ahead and ran um, the two pockets. We need two of them. I went ahead and I ran it through the big shot. I figured you guys didn't want to watch me do that. And I then brought in... Ooh, I then brought in my paper trimmer. And I use my bone folder. Now this is a scoring blade, so you can just use that. But I had it out and it was just easy to do. And I went and on a quarter of an inch, I went and I scored. And I did that all the way along, all the way to the end, to that last little score line. And I just scored a quarter of an inch all the way across I don't know if you can see it and that's more just for like a decoration type thing you do not even have to do that okay now you can use multi-purpose liquid glue however you do have to fussy and hold it because the glue is runny um, but I found that the tear and tape was quite nice to put the box together and the only problem is with tear and tape, once you put it down, that's it. You get one shot, kind of. So you want to be careful with that. On this piece here, we this is going to be for the box piece. And we are going to score this at two and a quarter. We're going to score it at three and three quarters. And we're going to score it at five and a quarter. Okay, I'm now going to push all these tabs, reinforce my little tabbies, I'm going to do the same on this guy, like so, and you want to just come in with the bone folder and just give it a good crease and you know just make sure it's all nicely creased it does make a big difference 
um, when using this tool as opposed to when not using the tool. Uh, you can't really tell on camera, but it does help. So you're going to reinforce all your score lines on here. Got glue on my fingers. Okay. I'm going to use the gl liquid glue just because I feel like I got a little wiggle room if I make a little boo boo. And you don't need a lot of glue, just a little bit of glue. Oops. And what you're going to do is you're going to butt this up to that little tab like so. You may have to hold it for a second or two. It's the only problem with the liquid glue. But I like the liquid glue because like I say, it gives you a few minutes to play around getting the box where you need it to be. Okay, so right now I'm, I'm liking that. Everything's lined up nice, nice. I'm going to come in with my bone folder and just press on the inside just to make sure it's pushed in properly. And we are good to go. Like so. And you're going to do the same on this one. You're going to come in with your glue. Whenever I do videos, I'm, I get like shaky because it's so nerves nerving. So I don't know if you can see on camera that I'm shaky. And then you're going to do the same. You're just going to attach this. Like so. Oops. If you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe, you guys. Leave me a comment. I do love to read the comments. And again, you're just going to press on this tab on the inside just to make sure it's all stuck down. And that's your little box, you guys. Again, I would just hold it for a second or two. Like I say, multi-purpose glue is nice because it gives you a little wiggle room. But you got to kind of play with it a little bit. That glue there, it's going to dry clear. You won't even see it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my pink little eraser. Glue on the bottom. I'm going to put it on the top of my box. I got my little foil piece and that's the piece that goes around the eraser. Underneath it, like that. How cute you guys. I love it so much. Like I say, great little way to give to your teacher either at the beginning of the year or at the end of the year. And all these little hanging off pieces, I'm just going to snip away once it's dry. Let's 
see at the bottom. So I'm just going to wait a little bit until my box is dry, you guys. If you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe, tell a friend. Head on over to my website. I have some awesome little projects that I've done. Leave me some love, some comments. How cute is that, you guys? A little pencil box. Super cute. Thank you so much for stopping by, you guys. Hope everybody has a wonderful day. Take care.